Hey everyone, all right, in this video, let's talk about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So Disney made it official that this attraction will be coming to Disneyland Park in 2022. More specifically, it's going into Mickey's Toontown. So it's gonna take over the Gag Factory, which is that big store in Toontown, and the backstage area behind the Gag Factory. So this is gonna be a fairly sizable uh, attraction, okay? And this is exactly what Toontown needed. This land has not seen any new attractions, any major investments since it opened uh, in 1993, okay? Uh, there's been rumors recently uh, for the past few years actually that Toontown was you know considered to be on the chopping block it might be Star Wars Galaxy's Edge expansion it might be Fantasyland expansion well I think we can put those rumors to bed now Toontown is here to stay this attraction cements Toontown's place at Disneyland for decades to come decades to come so I'm Again, so excited for this. I love the, the technology. I mean, a few years ago at D23 Expo, they showcased this two and a half D um, technology where it's sort of like, it's like, the best way I can describe it is like digital flats, you know? It, it, it's, it's flat, but it moves, it's digital. It looks really, really cool. Um, I love the vehicles, how it's this, you know, trackless like train. It just looks fantastic. I, I cannot wait for this to come to Disneyland Park. Now, there is one thing though, if I were to say, you know, if, if you were to ask me, uh, ideally, where would you want this attraction to be placed? I would have told you DCA. I, I actually, I think DCA would have been the better park to put Runaway Railway. You're probably asking why Toontown is thematically so perfect for it. You're right, it is thematically perfect for this ride. However, it would also fit in um, California Adventures Hollywood Land area. And it would, I think, be, I think DCA would benefit more from this attraction than Disneyland will. Disneyland is already full of so many immersive family dark rides, right? I mean, it, it's packed. It, D DCA doesn't have that, you know, it has Midway Mania, it has Little Mermaid, but really outside of that, there there's not a whole lot of just like these big, you know, dark rides that you can go on with the whole family. So I think uh, California Adventure would have benefited from this much, much more than Disneyland. And it would have given Hollywood Land, that whole back area with Monsters Incorporated and the old Muppet Vision Theater and all those sound stages, it would have given that whole back area some life. And it also would have given California Adventure um, some much needed, like Disney, some real Disney. Um, you know, DCA has become so focused now on like Pixar and then soon to be like Marvel. It would have been kind of refreshing to have some just classic Disney characters represented in this park in a big way. So ideally, I wish it would have gone into California Adventure, but woulda coulda shoulda you know it's not going to go into dca it is going into toontown it is officially going there so i'm still happy i'm still very very happy and i'm happy that this cements toontown's place at disneyland for decades to come it's great great news what do you guys think about this news what are your thoughts on mickey's and minnie's runaway railway coming to california more specifically uh toontown do you like the idea do you not like the idea what are your thoughts? Thank you guys so much for watching. I do you know, content on Disney parks, the movies, all Disney, all the time. And as always, have a magical day.